Today, I will show you how to use the desktop sharing and remote logging features on an Ubuntu server. In this demonstration, I will access the Ubuntu server desktop from a Windows client using the Windows Remote Desktop feature. To start, I will go to the Ubuntu server and open the settings application by clicking on the app icon. Once in the settings menu, I will navigate to network settings, select the active network connection, and verify the IP address of the Ubuntu server. This IP address is essential because it will allow the Windows client to connect to the server. After verifying the IP address, I need to confirm that there is proper connectivity between the Windows client and the Ubuntu server. On the Windows client, I will open the command prompt and use the ping command to check the connection to the Ubuntu server. If the ping is successful, it means that the two devices can communicate, and I can move forward with the demonstration. Next, I will navigate to the System tab within the Settings interface on the Ubuntu server. Under the System tab, I will select the Remote Desktop option. Here, I can see two features, Desktop Sharing and Remote Logging. The first option, Desktop Sharing, allows me to share the existing desktop of the Ubuntu server with other devices. The second option is Remote Logging, enables remote access to a specific user account on the server. First, I will demonstrate how to enable desktop sharing. I will click on the desktop sharing option and enable both desktop sharing and remote control. After enabling these options, I will set a password in the login details field to secure access to the Ubuntu server. Now, I will move to the Windows client and open the remote desktop application. In the Remote Desktop window, I will enter the IP address of the Ubuntu server and click Connect. When prompted, I will enter the username and password that I set earlier for the Ubuntu server. Once authenticated, I can access the Ubuntu server desktop and fully control it from the Windows client. If I disable the Remote Control option on the Ubuntu server, the Windows client will still be able to view the server's desktop, but it will no longer have control over it. This is useful if you want to share the desktop for viewing purposes only. Now that I have demonstrated desktop sharing, I will stop this feature and show how to use remote logging. I will go back to the remote desktop settings on the Ubuntu server and select the remote logging option. Here. I will enable remote logging by entering the server logging password to unlock the settings. Then, you need to set a specific username and password for access. For this demonstration, I will use the username USR1 and assign it a password. Returning to the Windows client, I will open the remote desktop application again and enter the IP address of the Ubuntu server. Then, I will enter the username and password configured for remote logging. A message will appear, that the connection is insecure, and I will acknowledge this by clicking continue. After that, you need to enter the username and password of the Ubuntu server's local user account. Unlike desktop sharing, remote logging allows only one user to access the server at a time. If another user tries to connect, they will need to wait until the current session is logged out or force it to stop. To demonstrate this, I will log out from the Ubuntu server session, which will allow me to reconnect seamlessly using the remote logging feature. Now you can access the server using the remote logging feature without any issues. Thank you for watching, and let's meet in the next video.